Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a new day here. You can see there's a little bit of snow left on the course, but today is the day that I change cups and I mow greens. So after a long, long wait, uh, it is April 4th. I have been on and off open since March 1st. As you can see, I still got some snow left here on the course. I'm actually going to mow the greens, starting with practice green, and cut cups today for the first time this year. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, it, it's kind of the first nice day we've had in a while. As you can see, the ground did, uh, or there was some frost on the ground last night. But now with this beautiful sun coming out, all of this should melt and uh, provide me with some nice warm temperatures to go out and work here. But with that being said... The reason why I held off mowing in March and cutting cups in March is because I really didn't want to damage these greens. Um, there's been a lot of, it was actually really dry in March and now going into April it is a little bit more wet which is great but I didn't want to damage the greens any more than they had already been damaged from aeration last season but it looks like they have come back actually really well. So we are going to mow today and cut cups. This cup hasn't been changed in months, so we're going to get started on that and uh, try to get some video, get on with our day. First cup of the season installed, there we go, press that down a little bit, and oh, a nice clean cut cup, doesn't get any better than that, very, very nice. Here we go, cup cut. Second cup of the season. Let's go. This is what we're still dealing with on the back part of my course. So you can see the sun just doesn't quite hit the shaded area for too long during the day, thus causing a slow runoff of all this snow. And of course it all runs downhill across the fairway allowing me to not be able to open up because of this back part of the course and you can see here the ground is still slightly froze but it is so wet that it is uh creating unplayable conditions on this back part of the course which sucks but what can you do that is mother nature so i'm thinking i might be able to open to walking only uh, just because of this issue here and it looks like we're supposed to get a bunch of rain in a few days which should take the rest of the snow here and uh, create a more stable environment here back on the back part of the golf course so we're going to get to it here continue to change the cups and then uh mow greens all right we mowed some greens already and now of course the iphone makes us look a lot worse than what it actually is but now we're mowing uh our second green well third green of the day second playable green right now with this old ransoms uh sand unit so i usually use this for spring and the fall before aeration after aeration that type of stuff because the uh cutting units just aren't uh, as good as my newer john Deere. but everything so far seems to be mowing very nicely and I'm really happy with the way it looks. Of course, you can see some tire tracks here. This unit is getting the job done appropriately, but you can see the rest of the green, the mowing's 
Fox looks really good right now. And of course, the iPhone makes everything look worse than what it is. But my two blue eyes right now, I see that the tree looks pretty dang nice. And it's pretty impressive how it came through the winter. So, with that being said, this unit is extremely loud, of course. So, I have to wear ear protection. So, I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but that is okay. I am just excited to be out here getting my course ready for the season and uh, getting it playable here. But as you can see, there is a little bit of snow on the course still. So, I'm only mowing what greens I can to get some of that growth going. All right, so here's a completed green done by that Ransom's older than myself. So I'm pretty excited here. This What I'm doing today is, is mowing most of these greens, allowing the new growth to come up and, and essentially just cutting off the old or dead growth of the plant. And uh, now with this sun and we got some warmer temps coming up with some spring rain, the, the, the grass should start to really grow here. So again, I'm happy with how everything looks. I'm not going to do tees and fringes anytime particularly soon because it just isn't that long. So overall here, we will revisit again once we're done, but pretty impressed with how, how the course came through. Got everything just about mowed up here and uh, we're almost ready for the season. So this is just a quick little video showing you what I did. Hopefully I'll get some more golf content out here. Uh, as the season gets rolling, um, any, any in-depth content, that type of stuff. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care. Come visit Pinecrest Golf Course.